If you have a Google Ads campaign, whether you're running it for your agency or running it for yourself, inevitably you're going to get a call from a Google Ads rep. And more often than not, you're probably going to get several calls from reps who say that they are working on your account. The problem with this is they're gonna suggest some changes to your Google account that are not going to benefit anyone but Google. And those changes are basically just going to take more money out of your bank account and put it right into Google's. Now, I don't know why they have these reps calling with these suggestions because what those suggestions do are ultimately tank a campaign. And I'm gonna show you an example of what happens here in just a second. But all these suggestions do are spend more of your money, get you fewer results, results and make you ultimately decide that Google ads just aren't worth it or just don't work. Now, when we launch a brand new Google ads campaign for our client, we always give them a heads up and say, hey, chances are because we turned on a brand new campaign, Google is going to be calling you. They're going to make some suggestions for you and your campaign to hopefully get better results. But please, no matter what you do, do not listen to every suggestion that they give you. And when we start a campaign for a client, we always go through the conversation of please don't make any changes in the campaign. We do this for a couple of reasons. One is chances are they just don't know exactly what they're doing inside the campaign. That's why they hire us. Whenever myself or my team make changes, we have a database where we keep these notes and we can see what everyone is doing inside the account so that we know that we're working together. If a client goes in and makes those changes, we have no idea what they did and sometimes it will completely tank the account and it's not the client's fault they just don't know what they don't know and that's why we always say if you have somebody running your campaigns for you make sure you're not making any changes behind their back and these changes are typically in the recommendations area or the auto apply area and i'll show you those here in a second but let's jump into an account and let me show you exactly what can happen when you listen to these Google recommendations. This is a perfect example of why not to make the changes that the Google Ads representatives tell you about. This is a brand new campaign that we launched during the holiday season. So we know the average cost per click is going to be higher. But in this case, you see the average cost per click being $21.22. With that said, in a four day period, the 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th, this campaign spent $127.32. One change that a Google rep had this client make, and this campaign went from spending $127 to $593 at an average cost per click of $59. From $21 to $59 a click. And if we look in the account, you can see we had one click here for $89 and we had eight clicks here for an average of $61. In fact, yesterday she had one day where she had two clicks, average cost per click of $100. And just what are some of the settings that were set up with these recommendations? Adding new keywords. However, the problem is, is that Google doesn't often add the right keywords, broad match keywords. This is a no, no. You do not add broad match keywords unless you know what you're doing inside of your campaigns, but this will automatically just add broad match keywords as many as Google finds bid more efficiently with maximized conversions. We would not turn this on on a new campaign because you're telling Google to go look for more conversions. Great. The problem is with the new campaign is that Google does not know what a conversion is yet, not for your business. So if you don't have any conversions or you have a very few, you're basically just saying, Google, go out and look for somebody. Try to get us more conversions. However, if you turn a campaign on in a different setting, get those conversions, and we typically do not turn a campaign to maximize conversions until we get 20 to 30 conversions in any single month. If we never hit that number and we don't sometimes with smaller accounts, we will not turn on maximize conversions. Google does not have enough data to make it worth your while to make the campaign more efficient. Set a target CPA or cost per acquisition. Google set this target at $80 an acquisition. We've run campaigns in this industry before. 
We know we will be getting leads for much, much less than $80, but it's because Google doesn't have that information yet that they set a very high target cost per acquisition. But these are why you do not allow the Google reps to have you turn on these auto apply recommendations or make these changes that they suggest. Now to check the recommendations area, you need to be right when you log into Google, you will see your campaigns. If you don't just click on campaigns, then go here to recommendations and you will see this auto apply. Click on that. What you want to make sure and do is have zero of eight selected and zero of 14 selected. These are the recommendations. You want to make sure all of these are turned off. Another place you want to make changes, go into your settings, account settings, auto apply, and make sure this says turned off. And you can also get to the auto apply settings by clicking on this. So if you had this happen inside your campaigns where you're getting calls from a bunch of reps, trying to get you to make changes, let us know down in the comment section below. Let us know some of the results that have happened. I would love for others to be able to see this to make sure that they're not making the same mistake. And if you want to learn some more agency tips, tricks, and secrets, check out my course, Ads Agency Unlocked, where I teach you everything, how to start, grow, and scale your Google Ads agency. There's a link down in the description area below. Did this video help you? Did it make some sense? Please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, and that little bell icon, and you'll be notified of when I release new videos each and every week and please do click that it really does help us in the eyes of YouTube and if you want to see some more related videos over to the right hand side you will see some of those as always thank you very much for watching I do greatly appreciate it and we'll see you next time